I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. What's going on, YouTube? Fazan back here to talk sports once again, and let's get right into it. The Chicago Bulls played against the Golden State Warriors last night in a game in which the Bulls showed absolutely no signs of life, and they lost 99-91. The final score was not indicative of how the game went. It was never really that close. Rally, C.J. Watson during about three three-pointers at the end. And Kyle Clover had two three-pointers to um, close the lead up. But get got me to ask the question, are the Bulls really title contenders? And again, this is where we become prisoner of the moment. Yes, they are still contenders. The Bulls had a bad night. They had an off night. D. Roche was uh, terrible. Terrible in this game. He had 13 points. He shot horrible from the field. 4 for 17. 1 from 8 from 3 point land. 1 for 8. Come on. Are you kidding me? Bulls had 20 turnovers. And more importantly, Boozer and Noah combined for 13 points. And Noah had 0 blocks. And Boozer had 0 blocks. And Kwame Brown. Kwame Brown had 4 steals. When is that going to happen? You know, I have to give props. The props to do the Warriors played a heck of a game and they outplayed the Bulls in every facet of the game and if it wasn't for the late rally the Bulls would have uh, been blown out but I applaud the Bulls for actually trying to come back but I expect a lot more out of them they are still contenders it's a long season let's not be prisoners of the moment let's wait this out next game was the Lakers facing the Sacramento Kings and what was supposed to be a pretty easy game for the Lakers to handle but that wasn't the case. The Lakers lost. And Kobe Bryant, he's not going to be happy with the, the way his team performed because Kobe himself had 29 points. And the rest of the starters outside of Kobe, 29 points. That just won't get it done. So it got me asking the question, are the Lakers done? And I know I said not to be a prisoner of the moment here, but... In the last two games, Lakers have shown me really nothing to prove otherwise, and I'm going to have to say, yes, they are done. They're on to the start of the season. It doesn't look good. They look unmotivated. Mike Brown just isn't getting to the guys. They miss Odom. They miss Shannon Brown. They have no firepower. Robert C. Banks won't get it done. And ultimately, Gasol hasn't played well. You know, ultimately, they don't, they don't have Bynum yet, and that could prove to be a big lift for this team, but... They just don't have enough firepower as currently constructed to compete for a championship this year, and I don't believe they will. Now moving on to NFL, Drew Brees, uh, what can I say, man? He just broke Dan Marino's record for the most passing yards in NFL history as the Saints defeated the Atlanta Falcons. I should say throttled. I should say destroyed the Atlanta Falcons 45 to 19 and Drew Brees went 23 for 39 for 307 yards he had four touchdowns after a bad start in which he threw two interceptions but that's the greatness of Drew Brees you know he's able to overcome adversity and be able to just play his game and lead that team and will that team back to victory so now I ask you the questions can the Saints win the Super Bowl they have a hell of an offense a hell of firepower with that offense with those weapons and I'm going to have to say not unless the Packers can help it because the Packers are the only team that I can see that can match the Saints or beat the Saints with that firepower. And ultimately it will come down to the fact that the Saints are going to have to play outside of the Superdome. They're going to have to play in Lambeau, you know, in frigid cold weather. And can they, you know, come up, can Drew Brees complete those crisp passes that he does so well at home? You know, it's yet to be seen, but I don't see it. You know, they pr prove me wrong, but the Packers are the class of the NFC and essentially the entire NFL. Now let's talk about the Atlanta Falcons, who were on the bad side of a 45-19 to embarrassment. And I just want to ask the question, how far will the Atlanta Falcons go in the playoffs? Because when you have Matt Ryan throwing for 52 52. 52 passes. I'm surprised his arm didn't break off. 52 passes. It just won't get it done. Michael Turner had 11 carries for 39 yards. 11. This guy's one of the best backs in the league. You need to feed him the ball. 
Matt Ryan cannot throw for 52 passes, even though he completed uh, 34 of them, and he had just a single touchdown, so it wasn't really that impressive, 34 for 52. You know, and we talked about how the Jets lost that game because Mark Sanchez threw for 59 passes. And you need a balance to that offense. You need to establish the line of scrimmage early and often. And the Falcons didn't do that. And they got throttled. Of course, Drew Brees had a hand in it, too. He threw four touchdowns. But getting back to the big picture, I just don't see this Falcons team going for the playoffs. They might get past. They may get past the first round, depending on what the matchup is. But other than that, no, not if Matt Ryan keeps throwing for 52, pass, 52 times in the game. Not if Michael Turner gets 11 carries. What do you guys think? Well, that wraps up today's show. If you guys had fun, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Answer my questions. Answer, ask me questions, and I'll get back to you in the next video.